India successfully tests its ballistic missile defense shield. What does that mean? Why is it so essential for country like India, an important regional power in the multipolar world? And for India, how does this alter the dynamics of defense as a regional power? On the other side of the globe, Germany and Britain are teaming up on defense as fears grow of a likelihood of Trump ditching Ukraine in case he wins US presidential elections. There on the battlefield of Ukraine, it is the drones that are scripting the future face of wars. India takes the cue and builds its own drone and robot army. India on 24th of July successfully flight tested the second phase of its ballistic missile defense shield demonstrating homegrown capabilities to defend against hostile missiles having a range of over 5,000 kilometers. The flight test fully met all the trial objectives. Validating complete network-centric warfare weapon systems, the missile was tested at the integrated test site range. India's Defense Minister Mr. Rajna Singh complimented the defense research and development organization, the DRDO, for successful flight test and stated that this test has again demonstrated India's ballistic missile defense capabilities. These are long-range missiles, long-range in layman terms, although otherwise they are you know, subdivided in three uh, parts, short-range, medium-range, long-range, intermediate-range and intercontinental. Range. A ballistic missile is fundamentally a missile which once launched follows a ballistic trajectory, which is in the shape of a parabola, and hits the target. Once the enemy has fired a ballistic missile towards you, your uh, you know endeavor is to destroy that missile in air before it hits its intended target. India's Defense Research and Development Organization announced that India has successfully flight tested phase 2 ballistic missile defense system on July 24th. The target missile was launched at 1620 hours mimicking an adversary ballistic missile attack which was detected by weapon system radars deployed on land and at sea and activated the interceptor system. Moment the sensor radars detected this incoming missile attack, a phase 2 AD endo-atmospheric missile was launched from the integrated test range at Chandipur at 16.24 hours. The Phase 2 AD endo-atmospheric missile is an indigenously developed two-stage solid-propelled ground-launch missile system meant for neutralizing many types of enemy ballistic missile threats in the altitude bracket of endo to low exo-atmospheric regions. And on the contrary, exo-atmospheric missiles are capable of completing missions in the uppermost region of Earth's atmosphere. The endo-atmospheric missiles are the ones that operate within the Earth's atmosphere that cover an altitude bracket of endo to low exo-atmospheric regions. The Indian Defence Ministry has claimed that the flight test met all the trial objectives, validating a complete network-centric weapon system consisting of long-range sensors, low-latency communication system and advanced interceptor missiles. The ministry in a statement said, the test has demonstrated nation's indigenous capability to defend against the ballistic missiles of 5,000 km class. The performance of the missile was monitored from the flight data captured by tracking instruments like electro-optical systems, radars and telemetry stations deployed by ITR Chandipur and also from various locations including onboard missile tracking ships. This becomes important in view of the latest warfare techniques which you have recently seen whether it is the Russia-Ukraine war or Israel-Gaza war. In both the places, we have seen the extensive use of missiles by the both sides and need for anti-missile defense system. While we have, India has offensive missiles, but at the same time, there is a need to have 
एंटी मिसाइल डिफेंस सिस्टम 